Hey everybody! Happy Monday, fun day Monday, June 14th. I read somewhere uh, online this morning that we are halfway through 2021. That was kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, gotta live in the moment, man, because they go fast. If you're here, please say hello. I'd love to chat with you. Let me pull up my comments. Hi, Carol. Hope you're doing well. We are in the summer here. It is warm. Keeping all my plants watered because we haven't had rain for a while. Hi, Kay. How are you? I am... Uh, excited to share the project we're going to do today. I wanted to talk about the last chance product sale is still um, on. Everything is um, going fast. I went back to, to purchase some more things that I had already gotten and um, they were gone. So um, especially the discounted items, they go pretty quickly. But if you just go to leslie.stampinup.net or go to my plaidpoodle.com and click on the um, shop now button, um, it'll take you there and there'll be a whole, um, you can click on the link for all the retiring products. And we're going to use one retri retiring product today in today's project. And I forgot to check... Um, what the inventory status was on that, but I'm going to give you an alternative if you don't have it. It, it is just a little a little um, element of the card that um, you can do um, without the um, the die. I had the die, so I used it. Okay, so I hi Stacy, hi Joy. I'm going to get my camera back here. There we go. I don't know why this cord. There. There we go. Okay, this is the card we're going to make today. It is so fun. You know how I love an, um, a card that does something fun, and this one does. It's a little, um, well, the dies are called Give It a Whirl. It's a whirly bird card. <laughs> And there's several options for this. I used, um, this is a kind of hard to find in the catalog. It doesn't come with a bundle. It's a brand new product. And it is on, it's demonstrated on page 57 of the annual catalog. You'll see it here used with the Stellar Birthday Stamp Set. I'm actually using it with the, um, the um, Turtle Friends bundle. Um, but it's in the back on page 163. So it's kind of hidden and it's kind of, um, you got to know that it's there. But I'm so happy to have the dies. I actually have been wanting clouds for so long. And I got the set for the clouds because I always, I, I just have been wanting clouds for so long. Cloud dies and I didn't have any. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use all of these pieces. This is everything that comes with the dies. You get a lot of dies, a lot of sentiment dies. Um, and you'll see how it works as I put the card um, together. And Carol, they it's not intimidating at all. I'll show you how easy it is. I was a little nervous this morning too when I was making my sample. But it is so easy. Hi, Kay. Um... It, it's just really um, not hard at all. So I'm starting out with a card base that is eight and a half by four, five and a half, and I folded it in a half at four and a fourth, so that's gonna be my card base. But I'm gonna set that aside for now because we're gonna work on all of this first. I, let me get that little sample sheet. What did I do? That. So what I've done is I've cut a pe this piece out. This is your important piece. 
um, of basic white cardstock and I've cut this piece out of basic white cardstock. So they look like this. Whoops. And that's going to be our mechanism that we're going to put on the front of the card to make our interactive card, our spinner card, if that's what you call it. And then the reason, I don't know if this was necessary, but I wanted this to be a little um, more stable because you're going to be um, playing with it or your recipient's going to be spinning it. So that's why I did the basic white and then I cut a piece of designer series paper out using this die just to give it some sp stability I was I just adhered it right onto that basic white I don't know if it's necessary um, it probably would hold up okay I I just thought I'm going to be extra careful. So that's why I did the extra piece in the basic white. So basically this is going to be our mechanism. I've moved all my cameras around and I've got to get used to where the center is again um, to do our spinner. But first before we put it together we want to do our stamping on here. And I don't know if the camera picks it up but the die actually has kind of a little impression for three little sections um, on the spinner. And Carol says, could you use the thick white? I would, I would think so, Carol. I would think you could. I'm going to pull out my, these are photopolymer stamps, so I'm pulling out my, um, paper piercing mat and um, what I did even though you can see there's an outline so if we we stamp right in that little triangle there's a little impression and I the camera's probably not picking it up so you know exactly where to stamp to get your um, um, images into the right spot so that when you spin it, they, they show up in the window. But to help me see better, because I'm kind of at an angle, especially when I'm doing this on film, I just grabbed a couple um, post-it notes and I put it right at the line of that impression that the die made, just to kind of guide me where I need to stamp that's totally optional and it just helps me because um, I can't see as well as I used to. <laughs> so for my three little um, images, I did this little blue bird, I'm trying to do this so you can see everything, with, with the hearts. So I took the color out of my designer series paper and for the designer series paper, I am using a couple of prints from the Peach, You're a Peach Designer Series paper. I just loved this blue and I'm using this for my grass and it, I thought it worked really well. It was a fun bright print so that's why I chose that. My ink is Balmy Blue and I that is the coordinating color to my Designer Series paper. So I'm going to take my little bird here. And y'all, I'm even going to do this. <laughs> I'm even going to put a little post-it right at the top so I know where the middle is. This is just helping me because I, instead of being right over it, because I'm filming, I have to kind of do it at an angle. And I just want to make sure that I get everything right in the middle. And I wanted my little bluebird to be a bluebird. Is that all the blue we're using? I think so. No, nope. we're going to use that one more time. So I'm going to leave that open for a sec. And then I'm using the new polished pink for the little hearts. And all the stamps today are from the, um, the Turtle Friends stamp set. 
I love this cute little little die. We're going to use the, the coordinating punch in just a minute. I thought those hearts were really cute. Okay, now for our next section, we're going to put this little guy, this little miniature turtle. Looks like he's kind of taking a nap on his way to the party. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. You, we just got started, so you're not late at all. Any parts you miss, you can watch the replay. And I always put these over on my YouTube channel, too, um, shortly after I log off. So um, you can watch the replays over there, too. And it's just the, it's just the plaid poodle over there. Okay, for my little... Um, my little guy, I'm using some Memento ink. And I'm going to put him right in the middle of my section. And then he's got a little shell on. And there's an image for the little um, shell. I don't know what they're called, the little raised areas. Isn't that cute? And then I even took the um, little um, balmy blue Stampin' Write marker and colored in his toenails to match his shell. And then I wanted a even a little bit more color. So I took the light Just Jade uh, Stampin' Blend marker and colored all the rest of them in. I didn't color around his shell because I didn't think I could do it uh, justice. And I thought since he's just going to be running through, <laughs> he didn't have to be so pretty like my main guy here. We're going to color him and I'm going to show you how I did that too, or a little tip on how I did that. I thought this Just Jade Green, the light was really cute with the, these um, real bright springy colors. Okay, and then our final um, little section of our wheel, I'm going to put our sentiments. And if you came in late, I'm just using these post-it notes to keep me centered in the uh, panel. There's a little slight raised area that kind of hints where the panel is, but um, I, uh, I just need a little extra help. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I need to talk to you today. I'll call you later. No big deal. Just need to catch up with you. Okay, there's it's time to celebrate. Isn't that cute? All right, there's our wheel. So we've got all three of our um, elements on there. And we can take and adhere our designer series paper to the this piece. Like I said, I wasn't sure that I needed that extra piece. I could have maybe just used the designer series paper, but I just wanted to be better safe than sorry. So that's what I did. fits right on there and there's even a little um, hole for the the brad that we're going to put on next. So now we're going to we have to cut the window out of here and I waited till I put the designer series paper on there to cut the window. And the the dies come with several options for the window. There's a heart uh, 
the window I use, the little triangle, there's a circle window, and I think that's it. So I'm going to pull my, um, I don't know if it'll work in this one, maybe it will. Pull my stamping machine here. Sorry, I thought I was going to use my big machine, but I think this will fit through. So I'll use my little machine. So when you pull out the dies, they're really cool. They have this little, little thing. Oh, here's the extra die. It's a little rectangle for the sentiment or whatever you're going to put your image or whatever. So all you have to do is line the die up with that center circle. I have a little bit of tape on mine. So I'm going to line that up and use a little tape. So you know exactly where to put it. And you can put it anywhere on the card. I just put it up top. If you'll notice the sample in the catalog, um, they've got it a little on the side and it's kind of cute. Um, if you don't have a catalog and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact me. I'd be happy to get you one. I just sent one out Friday. Whoa! And I'm going to run that again one more time because it is a double layer. I think it probably cut fine, but just to play it safe. There you go. And you have a little triangle if you can figure out what to use that little piece for in another project. Sometimes when you put these through your machine, that tape really really gets impressed on there, so I want to be careful pulling that out. Alrighty, so we've got our little window and our little um, images that we stamped, and I'm just taking a die. These are retired. Um, Stampin' Up! has white and black ones now, and I need to get some ordered because they would work better, but this is just a copper one, so any little um, I call it a die. Any little brad will work. And what's really cool, I covered my brad up with the um, the cloud, which you don't really have to cover the brad up, but they do provide, the dies do come with, <laughs> you guys, I just throw everything around. Okay, three little circles to cover your brads with. So I didn't find that out till I was making my little sample page and I said, oh, I bet those are to cover the brad up. Um, not that that's necessary. Okay, now I'm gonna put that on the card front and then we'll do all the fun embellishing. Oh, first I'm gonna put the grass on. And this is where I use the retiring die. I used the curvy dies from the quite curvy bundle. This is in the, um, spring catalog and I used this one but if you don't have a curvy die like that you can just kind of cut a little hill and I noticed on this hill I cut with the die a little bit steeper this is a smaller hill but that's okay gives me more room for my clouds and I thought the print on this paper worked really well with the um, for grass So I just used a scrap of that to create this little hill that our turtle's going to be walking on. Now I'm going to put it on the card front. Um, no, it's not hard at all, Carol. Just because um, it does all the work for you. It cuts out the little the 
just I think the hardest part is just getting your stamps right where they're supposed to be. At least that's my my difficult rating. Um, I'm gonna use the um, we used these last Wednesday, the foam adhesive strips. You could use uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. These are a little taller than Stampin' Dimensionals. Here's the card we made last week using them. We made the little window card and it raises it up quite a bit. And so I'm gonna use these because they are a little faster. And I am just gonna place these around the edge I don't know if I should cut them while they're on the paper or cut it while it's off I don't want to cut my other ones I'm going to stick one right here under the wheel just to give it a little uh, extra lift right there. I'm probably overkilling it, but... Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention in the first, at the beginning, I meant to mention, if you are local to me, um, on July 17th, that's a month from now, I believe it's a, it's it is a Saturday. <laughs> I knew that. Um, I am going to be hosting. I'm calling it Coffee in a Card. It is going to be an event. It's going to be kind of a come and go open house. Um, I'll send out all the details um, as soon as I can get everything uh, squared away. But I am really excited about it. I'll have coffee and some pastry and um, you can come and make a couple cards. I'll have samples and everything else. So um, it's going to be kind of my grand opening from the pandemic. <laughs> I forgot I wasn't on here. There we go. It's going to be my grand opening for, from the pa for the pandemic. Um, you know, we're going to go back. I've had several people ask me, when are we going to start some in-person events? And um, I thought, let's do it. Okay, and like I said, all the details, I'll be sending out some emails and I'll be posting some things too. I'm going to get started on that right, uh, right away. Okay, then I cut out this large uh, cloud and this little cloud. And I went ahead and did that. Hey, has the turtles. I love the little turtle. We're gonna get we're gonna get to him. Um, in fact, why don't we do that before we put our clouds on? So I'm just taking a piece of little scrap of um, basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna color him in with um, my stamp and blends. So I'm going to stamp him with Memento ink so it won't blur or run. He reminds me of a little turtle that was maybe in one of my kids' storybooks. I don't know. He's so cute. All right. Now here's the trick. I wanted him to have more color. You see how this little turtle, well right there, that little turtle, I kind of left his shell white around the 
the raised portions just because I felt it would be hard to color it in with the green. But this one, um, I wanted to have a little bit more color. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I used my Stamparatus, which is a stamp placement tool. And I decided, here's my little turtle guy, <laughs> or his little shell, but I'm going to put my stamp turtle on here. And then decide where this shell needs to go, which is right there. I didn't have my magnets on there hard enough. Sometimes I just use tape, you know? I think that's going to work. Okay, now I'm going to ink that up. I'm using the Pale Papaya. That's another new in color. And I'm going to stamp that image. And then I'm going to take my Light Just Jade. And the finer tip of my marker. My hands aren't that steady and I'm not that accurate. But I wanted to make his shell look like it was, you know, green and... Maybe it's a girl turtle and she painted her shell for the party. <laughs> so I'm just kind of tracing around these little, um, I don't know what they would be called. They're raised portions, right, on his sh her shell, <laughs> his shell, whatever. Just to give it a little bit more color on the front of the card, I just felt it was kind of plain. And this is totally optional. Um, but then I inked it up some more and went back around those or stamped the image again just to help um, delineate, is that a word, <laughs> that green. And then I finished coloring her out with the um, Light Just Jade. Stamp and blend. Except for her toenails, I painted those. <laughs> I'll get a Stamp and Write marker in the Pale Papaya and paint her toenails to match her shell. Okay. Here is the little Pale Papaya stamp and Write marker. I don't have the Stampin' Blends yet for the in colors. But they are on my wish list. <laughs> okay. So that little guy is all ready, and we're going to punch him or her out. I love a punch bundle. 
When you buy the stamp set and the punch together, you save 10% on your purchase. Make sure I'm not cutting his tail off. It's so cute. And if you'll notice, I did a little party hat. So let's stamp that. Putting my stuff everywhere. Here we go. And I'm going to do that in the Memento ink too because I'm going to color that in. And I dropped my marker. Hat coordinates with her <laughs> with her shell and through the magic of television I went ahead and but I maybe not because it just blew away oh here we go <laughs> I went ahead and cut that out because there's not a punch or a die for that so I had to I had to cut that out so you didn't want to watch me do that I just cut that out by hand Put a little tiny glue on the back. I'm using my favorite uh, liquid glue. It looks like a hot mess right now. But I love the multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we're going to pop the little guy up onto the card with some dimensionals, but I'm going to figure out where I want my clouds first. So I want to use this cloud to kind of cover up my um, um, brad. And you can take, or this is what I did, is I took a little mini glue dot. and put that right on the top of the brad to hold my cloud and then I put a little dimensional over here and down here So that kind of covers up the, the um, cloud. And then I'm going to, I guess I'll put this little guy right over here. And I'm going to put some dimensionals. Okay, that is an excellent tip. Kay just shared a tip. Let's try it. So good. Yes. Thank you. I'll finish this and then let's try that. That's probably a lot easier than how I did it. And then I'm going to put this little um, cloud up here. So that is the card. Then you've got your little um, wheelie over here. They're just kind of floating through the air. <laughs> okay, let's try Kay's tip. I need to grab some whisper white or basic white. Hold on. Um, I should have shouldn't have cleaned up. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Kay. I want to try Kay's trick because I think that would be so much easier than how I did it. Okay, so.
So, okay, you tell me if I'm doing it wrong. I, I'm going to stamp the little turtle, wherever he is. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, it's it's not hard at all to put it together. All right. So this let me wipe this off with a, everything's falling. wipe and then we'll get a block so okay if I'm understanding you correctly you put your thing on backwards on your block backwards so let's grab the pale papaya I need a piece of scrap Mm -hmm. I got too clean the, before this one. <laughs> Usually I have scrap all over the place. Uh, minus the S. <laughs> okay, so you stamped off. And then you stamped. Ah, oh, this is the best thing. But you did it green, but that's okay. I was I just I don't have green up here, so I'm using my uh, pale papaya, which I think will work. And then you didn't stamp off after you turn the stamp back around to right side up. Perfect. Oh my gosh, great tip. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So disregard, disregard. <laughs> no, we all have our own ways of doing anything, but that is how I'm doing it moving forward because yay, very fast. Thank you, Kay, for sharing that. Okay. That is the um, card for today. We will be back Wednesday for um, Coffee and a Card. Look on my, uh, keep an eye out for that July 17th. It's a Saturday morning. It'll probably be 9 to noon or 10 to noon. Um, it'll be real fun. Uh, kind of a come and go thing just to kind of introduce us back to meeting together in person. Woo! -hoo! So um, keep an eye out for all of those um, details. Thank you all for joining me. I love it when you're here and I love it when we can talk and share great tips. I am so impressed with this, Kay. <laughs> You've changed my life. Um, we will talk, talk to you Wednesday, if not before. Bye-bye. <laughs>